and welcome to another weekly studio vlog or should I say van vlog because we're currently in my van solo I've come away by myself uh, to kind of go on a creative break so I thought I'd bring you along with me because uh, I fancy just yeah having a little bit of a break away creative break and try and clear my head a little bit try and get motivated also we'll literally look at this this is the view right now that's the sea like literally we're on a cliff yeah i'm really hoping you're gonna enjoy this video Um, i asked you guys whether you want to see it on my channel but first of all i need to put chocks on the van which I've never done by myself before because I normally have Dean putting the chocks on and then I level it. It basically is to level the van, so I need to do that. And I'm literally going to stay on this pitch the full weekend, but I might have a venture into Whitby. Whitby is perfect for Halloween as well because it's where all Dracula stories have come from. There's a lot of Dracula tales. I'm literally near Dracula's lair just there at Whitby Abbey. That's pretty cool and fitting to create some Halloween products but first of all let's get this van level. I think I might move further in because I'm a bit of a fanny and I don't want to be on the cliff edge so let's get the chocks on and see if we can do it ourselves. I've had a disaster as well when I was driving I heard this big bang and I've lost the license plate off the front of my car which is illegal in the UK. <laughs> Now, I've shut my door over because we're literally on a walkway right now, and there's people walking by and they keep smiling inside, probably because it's all pink and stuff. Uh, but I want to put my clothes away and stuff, so let's put everything away and get our laptop out. I need to answer emails and I also do need to do Patreon coupons. But I'm loving my view for work. card is flashing zero minutes oh no what am I gonna do oh my god I thought I could smell something proper gross right like really tangy onions and I just looked in my mini cooler and we've me and Dean have left yogurt and onion in for like three weeks it stinks I'm gonna have to clean it out it's so bad Don't gag. Oh, I'm gonna gag. Oh, no. The yogurts are that off that they've like blew up. The lid is blew up. Oh, it smells so bad. <sighs> <sighs> smells much nicer now. <sighs> At least my cold box looks squeaky clean now. Ross.
having a bit of a dilemma this sd card is gonna run out and it's got my studio vlog on that i haven't uploaded yet so i can't delete it honestly i have about seven sd cards and i haven't brought one spare anyway i finished all the admin type of work it was mainly admin to do today emails sponsorships replying to all that i still need to reply to my youtube comments on my personal vlog which i'm gonna do very soon but i need the toilet so i'm gonna brace the toilet blocks over here and then i think i'm gonna settle down for the night i've just realized i forgot to bring my pajamas so i'm gonna have to wear a jumper and just re-wear this outfit uh, maybe on sunday and uh, so i'm gonna just wear i think dean's got some boxes in there some clean boxes so i'm probably just gonna wear that and a jumper um for my jammers but i'm gonna get in my comfies and i'm gonna make some tea as we prepare for tonight i wanted to say a huge thank you to our sponsors today hello fresh for sponsoring this vlog i was so excited when hellofresh reached out to me because i have been a fan and using hellofresh for the last couple of years as a business owner i often work quite a lot of late nights and my hours are always here there and everywhere and i always find it particularly during really busy times and when i'm really busy at work i often find myself reaching for really poor quality fast foods this is where hellofresh is coming really really handy for me personally You'll see, I've actually placed a lot of orders with them in the past and it always tends to be during the busiest months so I can make really healthy choices and know that when I'm coming home there's fresh, healthy meals for me to prepare when I come in from work and it takes out all of the guesswork, all of the decision fatigue on what I'm actually going to eat that night and I find it super, super helpful. I actually get my HelloFresh packages delivered to my studio and they come in these little bags with recipe cards Cards and they are super easy and simple and very very tasty to follow. Another good thing about HelloFresh actually that I found is I have experimented with so many new fun creative and healthy recipes. Go to hellofresh.com and use my code catnip14 to get 14 free meals including free shipping. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Mm. If I were to marry Mr. Bridgerton, I'm you Bridgerton. would be connected. Post tomorrow. The wedding wouldn't be for weeks. So I just finished eating my tea, which was super nice. I've got some Animal Crossing music on, some evening Animal Crossing music on my iPad, and I've just cleaned and put all my pots away from my lunch. The sun is beginning to set. I wonder if they'll light the abbey up. I don't, I don't know if they do or not. And yeah, the goal of this weekend is to rest because it's so important. I think it's really easy to see, see different small business owners online, whether it be YouTube or Instagram, always grinding and always going, go, go, go all the time. But the fact of the matter is you really need to have a break and you need to relax because it's it's really important, otherwise it'll just let me pass this music. I delete another file on my SD card, oopsie. But I'll make it short. So basically I fall into the trap of always, like if I'm not doing anything, I start to feel guilty and I'm trying to get out of this habit. And this is what this trip is about, to just fully enjoy myself and not have the distraction of other people and anything, just me alone in the van. It was all about connecting with myself again, hopefully getting some rest to get more creative because once I'm fully rested that's when I can get to work and like be super super productive. You'll probably see on this channel the times where I'm not as consistent with my uploads or I'm not as um, prolific or uh, productive is oftentimes when I've got a lot of stress on or a lot of things going on in the business like Christmas or like the weddings that I've just gone so this is time for me to just relax. Um, I'm just gonna have a quick stroll, a bit of fresh air and then I'm gonna watch The End of Bridgerton because I've got like another episode to watch so good night guys I'll see you in the morning.
morning guys so I had such a nice sleep last night I was actually quite surprised I thought I'd struggle getting to sleep but I watched all of Bridgerton literally binge watched that and yeah slept really well which was really good anyway I'm gonna head down the 199 steps here in Whitby past the Abbey and I'm gonna explore Whitby and all its small independent shops to gather some inspiration it's my favorite thing to do and I'll possibly get a coffee and then maybe have my tea out maybe get classic Whitby fish and chips because you can't go into Whitby without getting fish and chips my camera battery my camera SD card keeps running out so I'll also have to purchase an SD card and I need some washing up liquid for the van so yeah let's head down the 199 steps and go into Whitby Whitby is steeped in rich history divided by the River S. The east side of Whitby, such as the East Cliffs, where I'm staying, is home to the Whitby Abbey, the 199 Steps and St Mary's Church. It's the oldest of the two sides and the location for the Abbey, a founding point for the town, which dates all the way back to 656. AD. I'll give you some more fun facts on this later but now it's time to brace the famous 199 steps of Whitby which is a steep incline leading up to St Mary's Churchyard from the ancient seaport and picturesque harbour. According to the Whitby Guide, 1340 is the first known record of the 199 steps. However, it is believed the steps were actually made a long time before this and some historians believe that St Hilda would use the steps as a test to confirm the faith of her followers. This was a test of Christian faith to those who wished to worship in St Mary's Church. The bottom leads to Church Street, formerly known as Kirkgate, whose cobbled streets and many cottages and houses date from the 15th century, when the numerous narrow alleyways and yards provided escape routes for smugglers and gangs of youths. According to Historic UK, Church Street's origins can be traced back even further, however, with dwellings having been documented at the foot of the Abbey as early as 1370. This is where we begin our exploration of Whitby for the day. as we walk around is a reference to gothic culture, ghost tales and most notably Dracula. Bram Stoker, the writer of Dracula, holidayed in Whitby. The Whitby Abbey is mentioned in the Dracula book by his character Mina Murray. He even noted down inscriptions and names on the ancient headstones at St Mary's Churchyard, including Swales, the name he used for Dracula's first victim in Whitby. There's also a plethora of gothic clothing shops due to Whitby's famous Whitby Goth Weekend, an alternative music festival that was founded in 1994 and has grown to become one of the world's premier goth events. Now let's continue browsing all the little shops and the little cafes Whitby has to offer. Just spotted my good friend Lindsay from the Megan Arlo in the shop. How oh, cool is that? Well done, Lindsay. And there's also loads of Katie AB work as well. Thank you. 
one that's coming. Here's the Whitby Jet Museum. So cool in here. Wow, look at all these. Oh, it's like a lock of hair inside some Whitby Jet. So apparently within the jet industry, human hair was used in a great variety of ways. It could be styled in a popular motif, such as the Prince of Wales feathers are tightly woven as a background for seed of pearl and gold wire decoration. Locks of hair would also be sewn into compartments on the fronts and backs of brooches, bracelets, lockets and pendants. Some were purely worn as a token of sentiment and affection for the person while other were worn as a funeral tribute. Look at these, these look so modern, considering they're from the 1800s. We are on double ring boxes now because oh, okay. um, we're having such a job getting packaged. Oh, don't worry. Time to brace 199 steps. It wasn't too bad. I made it to the top and I'm currently sat alone in a graveyard. Oh, steam train! There's a steam train going off just over there and you can hear it. So I've just got back in from um the, oh what am I doing? I've just got back in from watching the band. Oh my god, my cow flicks are crazy. I literally sat in that graveyard for like an hour. It was so cool. I was listening to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride entrance loop. Anyway, you can probably tell I've probably got grey teeth. Because mm, I've had a few glasses of Merlot and I made some new friends repping Hello Alison, Mandy, uh, Elaine and Jeff 
and the couple from Newcastle. It was really, really fun. Today was such a big success. I actually just very up washing up liquid. I forgot to get food, but I've got like loads of pastas, dried pastas and pot noodles. So pot noodle it is for tea. Anyway, today was the biggest success. Like honestly, if anything came out of this trip, this was it. Like it actually came out amazing. I didn't put any pressure to be creative. I just wanted to come on this break and try and do something. But when I went to this little tea room slash coffee shop slash bookshop, I actually got a book. I will do a little haul tomorrow because I got a few things. I got a book by an illustrator I follow called Beatrice Blue. She has three books. Uh, they're on the back here. Um, I ended up writing my first book like from start to finish like I always had this idea that I wanted Gingy to have his first book at Christmas and I wrote it today in that bookshop I can't believe it because I didn't know how it was going to kind of go and after reading a few books what I did was I went into the bookshop I browsed the books I looked at a few I read a few stories I had a cup of tea uh, which you'll probably have seen and then on the notes on my phone I ended up writing from start to finish the whole plot for it it's a children's book um so I'm just I can't believe it and then when I was sat in the bar before the band came on I got my iPad out and just doodled and I was opposite the Abbey which is obviously Bram Stoker's Dracula there's a lot of myths and legends around it I ended up drawing a little marshy and a little bat character sticker pack or something some characters so I didn't expect I wasn't putting any pressure to create this weekend and as a result the lack of pressure and just having fun by myself and getting inspired I ended up writing a whole book and creating that so I feel so happy I feel liberated almost I've had the best time I definitely want to do some more of these trips it's been liberating like literally I've probably got grey teeth while I talk about this how cringe oh my god my hair is a mess oh my goodness anyway i thought i'd share the experience with you guys as you can see i'm really happy i have had the best time i'll show you tomorrow because i got some pretty cool stuff uh from whitby and some really cool art prints which i may put in the van or i may take home uh, but i'll show you that in the morning because i'm gonna try and get something to eat maybe a pot noodle but it's getting late so i'm gonna put on the projector and snuggle up for the night uh, yeah, I really do have great teeth. Please excuse me. It's the Merlot's fault, not mine. I've got my projector set up. Yay, I've got Disney Plus on. And I've got some meatballs and pot noodles on the go. I'm just boiling the water because I forgot to get food. So going to pick a film and then I'm going to settle down for the night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. So I had another good sleep last night which was great. I actually didn't get to sleep till about two. I was watching like Disney Plus. I watched the end of Loki. Then I started watching this new series called Behind the Attraction which shows you all about behind the attractions at Disney World and Disneyland. Anyway I thought I'd give you a quick haul of what I got yesterday. So I didn't go mad and get loads and loads of stuff uh, but I had to like restrain myself from the independent shots but in one shot I got these really fun 70s style um, art prints which I just thought were really fun but they're quite um yeah rude and i don't know whether i'm going to keep these in the van or if i'm going to keep them for the new house and put them in maybe my office i don't know i, I don't know why i love them so much i just think they're really like fun and i like the 70s kind of style on them so i got them i also got this card which i'm going to use as an art print it says it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves and it's by an artist called Emma Skerat. But I thought this would be really cute kind of up here. They came in this little bag, which was really cute. And then in the bookshop, I actually purchased Beatrice Blue. I follow her on Instagram. And she has got three books out. I've already mentioned this, I think. There's the other two. And I was going to buy the other two, but I think I'll just keep adding to my collection. Um, but this one was beautiful. It was a really beautiful story. And I love the colours and the illustrations in it. And the final thing I got, which was a bit of a splurge, to be honest. I went into the small Whitby Jet Museum, which was W. Hammond. 
and I fell in love with his ring. I'm going to honestly run out of space um, to put rings on my fingers, but this actually fits on my little finger. Anyway, this is what it kind of looks like and i love it i think it's so cool and it's kind of like a really nice memory piece of this little solo trip Ooh, that has i've just noticed in the camera that is dangling down i'm gonna pack up the van and secure everything for driving and i'm gonna end the vlog here i really hope you enjoyed it if you would love to see more of my van vlogs i upload them on my personal channel and i'm currently uploading the trip where we do the tour of the uk so it's going to be a lot of van vlogs so you can check me out just here at Catherine k and we just reached 10k subscribers so thank you so much if you are subscribed to that channel it really means the world i absolutely love traveling and gathering inspiration is my favorite thing to do anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog it was something a little different but still kind of related to the business so i hope you enjoyed how i get creative and find inspiration and i'll see you all very freaking soon all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye